Digital payments have been a growing story for India and many global majors want to take a pie out of it. Perhaps the most anticipated player in this space is Facebook owned WhatsApp which is currently testing WhatsApp payments among a limited set of users. In a recent presentation WhatsApp India top boss Abhijit Bose laid out his plans to start with payments and eventually drive micro credit insurance digital banking services and others across its 400 million users here WhatsApp's foray into financial services has been riddled with roadblocks from issues around localization of payments data to encryption of messages to even favoritism from the National Payments Corporation of India it has faced many allegations currently the entire matter is subjudis with the supreme court whatsapp might have quoted many controversies but its reach in india is immense a country with 500 million smartphones having 400 million active users of the messaging service shows the reach of this platform to give some context Paytm after having spent billions of VC dollars claims to have 300 million users. WhatsApp entering payments can lead to skewing the game for homegrown startups like Paytm, PhonePay and Bharat Pay. In India, for years the payments customer acquisition strategy was built on incentives and cashbacks. In a recent interview, Paytm founder Vijay Shekhar Sharma said how he used cashbacks to incentivize users on the platform. Even PhonePay is spending marketing dollars to get more merchants to install PhonePay's QR codes at merchant outlets. Imagine WhatsApp, the most ubiquitous app in India, gets a massive head start because of its captive user base. Further the early users of WhatsApp all had one reaction in common the amazing ease of use imagine while actually chatting with your friends or family you can just put a secret pin and transfer money and share your shopping list with your local grocer and make the payment only to get goods home delivered that is the kind of use cases WhatsApp wants to promote now add basic banking activities social commerce insurance and microcredit to it WhatsApp can truly change the way consumers access financial services. Recently, with Facebook investing 5.7 billion dollars into Reliance, the stated objective of the partnership was to simplify ordering from GeoMart. If GeoMart succeeds at digitalizing the local grocer and take their businesses online and drive payments through WhatsApp, then this can complete the social commerce experience for indians opening up a whole new set of new cases while all this strategy looks good on paper it needs for the messaging app to actually go live with payments and it has been more than 2 years pending now not only in india whatsapp is having issues with regulators in brazil as well where it went live with payments only to get suspended soon after NPCI which runs UPI has given a green signal to WhatsApp in terms of adhering to data localization requirements but sources indicate it could still take some time for the payments app to deal with legal hurdles and actually go live